What's up guys, welcome to another MP Life DIY. Today we are gonna be doing a little boat maintenance. Well, we'll say preventative maintenance. I have a Tracker 165 walkthrough and it came with a single axle trailer and the leaf springs are, well, they're garbage. It's like not even a leaf spring, it's leaf one singular spring. So we are going to be replacing it with these two bad boys right here. Uh, before I get started, I'm gonna show you a little bit of a video of me driving around the block just to show you kind of what we're working with. Okay, so getting started is pretty easy. We're just gonna take off this protector here and I probably don't even need a screwdriver. No, I don't. Okay, and now before I lift everything up, I'm gonna just break all these loose. Now that that's done, we're gonna jack this thing up, put a jack stand underneath. Can we take the tire off? So this is what we've got down here right now. And that is subpar at best. So this is actually a pretty cake job. All I've got to do is remove those bolts. That one there, that one there. Take those two there off. Replace that with the new ones. Put it right back on. Simple enough. So I'm gonna loosen both of these, this one here, and boy, that one there. Then I'm gonna loosen and completely take off this bracket right behind here. Now we're gonna take off this bracket right here. So now I'm just gonna keep this one on, and push it back. Now, we focus on getting these big bolts out. Okay, there's half. Not quite sure why that was stuck as bad as it was. Okay, so that's what we were working with. This is what we're about to put on. I just can't wait for how much better this thing is going to trailer.
Okay, so now this goes here, right through. One more thing. Now that jack there is completely off. I'm going to tighten these two things down and that's gonna snug those up. So once those are all on, then we need to get this bracket here back on. So I was curious if I was gonna be able to leave this one on. The answer is no. So I'm gonna have to take this off. So I'm gonna keep this one corner on. I'm gonna back this thread or this nut all the way off to the very, very base of the thread. There's a little circle in the middle. You can kind of see it right there. That goes, there's a nut for the leaf springs. It goes right there. So what I'm gonna do now is put this one on and now just hand tighten all of these little, little bolts below. When you go to tighten these, you're going to want to tighten them kind of like a little bit each so that they get tightened even. The entire new set of leaf springs is on. It's lined up. Everything is good on this side. I'm going to jack it back up, put the tire back on, and then I'll talk to you. Okay, so now put the lugs back on, just get them all started by hand. Now I'll use this just to zip them down. I'm not going to use this to tighten them, just to get it down close. Okay, so one side's done. This is what we had on before. This wimpy single spring. Um, I've seen a lot of guys post pictures of this sucker breaking, and then, well, you don't have anything to back it up. I mean, it's just, it breaks and the trailer's pooched and you're in trouble if you're going highway speeds. So I'm gonna finish the other side now, and then we'll drive around the block and kind of do the same thing we did before. guys that's gonna be the end hey I am not very mechanically inclined at all so if I can do a project you can totally do a project this was super easy it's going to save me some super big time hassle in the future because I've seen some of the pictures of when these things break and it is just not pretty guys if you like these videos and want more DIYs let me know in the comments below oh geez if you haven't yet hit the like button and the subscribe until next time keep living your North Fairy life